What's good y'all, welcome back to another video, and today, Skate Season 1 has dropped, and you might have logged in today and saw that your DLSS settings are gone. And now everyone thinks, you know, even myself included thought, the DLSS settings were gone, but do not worry, I am here to save you. As you can see, this is the new update, we got the Skate Pass, we got the ticks. you know, it's all here, but if we go to the settings right here, you're gonna see that if we go to our graphic settings, we indeed still have DLSS, even on the newest update. And you might be wondering, how did you keep the settings? And that's a good question, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. And the best part about this is that you could actually change the DLSS mode in-game. You don't need the NVIDIA app, you don't need any of it, everything just works. And it's beautiful. So, let's get right into it. Alright, so to actually get the DLSS settings in game, it's actually quite simple. So there's going to be a GitHub page in my video description down below. And all you guys need to do is just click on it and scroll all the way down until you see assets and click the very first one, which should be a raw file. So all you got to do is save it to your computer. And there we go. So now it has downloaded. So all you got to do is just open it up with like WinRAR or 7-zip and open up the folder and you're going to see an EXE. All you gotta do now is just extract the exe anywhere on your PC. As you can see, I dropped it in this empty folder right here. It could be anywhere, it does not matter. But once it has been saved, all you gotta do now is go back to the GitHub page, and you're gonna see like these steps. All you need to do is click on the second link, the second step, and it's gonna redirect you to this NVIDIA DLSS DLL website where you can download the updated drivers for the DLSS. Click on the latest one as you're going to get better performance with the latest driver. And just click on any of the servers, it doesn't matter, I picked the closest one to me. And once you have done that, download it and save it to your device. And once it has downloaded, just simply open it up and you're going to find a DLL. Simply put that DLL in the same folder as where you put the program exe at. So once you have done that, it's quite simple. Simply open up the exe and it's going to ask you for admin perms, just click yes. And once you have done that, it's going to open up the program. Now what exactly is this? What am I doing? Basically this program overwrites the old DLSS DLL used by NVIDIA and it uses the new one you just downloaded. And what this does for Skate is that this new DLL unlocks the DLSS settings. It's really strange. However it works, it's safe to use and it might actually boost your performance. So all you need to do here is just make sure everything's unchecked and all you want to do is just click the update button, right? Just click it. It's going to say operation completed and there you go. That's all you need to do. It's crazy. So now you can just close the program and simply just launch skate and the settings should be there. And if it isn't, just restart your PC and the settings should show up the next time you go back on the game. And real quick, I want to say massive credits due to this guy, Drikopotamus. He is amazing. He let me know about this, that it was still working, and we tried everything to replicate what he did, and we did it. So big props to him, and also big credit goes to Joel for also testing this with me and making sure that it was as simple as we have dreamed of. So thank you two so much for this. But anyways, we are back, and as you can see, DLSS is right here. And let me show you guys the performance benchmark real quick before I end this video. So just to prove that this works, we're at the church area, which is the most heavy performance hitting place in the game pretty much. And as you can see, we are switching between each mode and you can see the frame rate actually adjusts real time as well as the little DLSS indicator at the bottom left. And you can also see a comparison on the right with how the visual quality goes. And they all look the same pretty much, but Ultra Performance will give you a nice boost. It will fix stuttering. I kid you not, it is great. And we're running this at 4K on a 3080. And to get the most performance, we're gonna switch to Global Illumination from dynamic to static. As you can see, it gives a nice boost. We're also gonna turn off the depth of field to off. And as you can see, we're approaching the triple digits and that's really good. So here I am skating around. As you can see, the indicator is blurring out like crazy. And I mean, it's just great. DLSS looks amazing still. I don't know why the devs are trying so hard to get rid of it, honestly, because it works 
as you could see, I really don't know what's the purpose of hiding it and trying to get rid of it. Even if it's not finished, you know, I feel like players should benefit from an FPS boost if they need it the most. And taking that away from the players just makes it just hurts the game, man. And with this update having this bad rep of having stability issues, it's just not a good look, guys. So I hope DLSS officially releases soon. But right now, you could try it early with my little method I put in this tutorial. But other than that, I hope you all have learned something from this and enjoyed this tutorial. I really try my best to make it as helpful as I could possibly be. So you guys don't have to be waiting and wasting time on something that doesn't work. So yeah, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. There's going to be really cool things coming to my channel soon about Skate. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.